Okay, we're back with contractor Mike Harvey for the latest episode of this old chapel called The Problem with the Polka Dot Wall, and Mike will now show us why we have a problem with the polka dot wall. Well, well, it may not look too bad at this close-up. When you get inside and see the whole pattern of the wall, uh, these dots become spots, and we have a pattern of polka dots to deal with. So. Um, we're going to attempt a dry brush technique with some properly mixed paint and we're going to see if uh, that's a way we can correct this wall. Now, what was the original thought behind having these dark spots on these sort of faux stone tiles? Well, the manufacturer makes these tiles uh, to be put onto large surface areas and because of that they want to add a little variation in depth on the wall in addition to the actual texture that you can see in relief they need to add a little dark, maybe a little bit of light so that uh, the wall doesn't become repetitious. So they, they spray this stuff into the mold and then they pour the mixture of the, the resin into the mold and they make the part. But unfortunately, sometimes uh, what we plan to do in a process isn't exactly what happens in the process. So um, the spots became came about because uh, they were just uh, maybe the nozzle was bad, maybe it was a new guy who had a heavy hand, maybe the guy who usually does it for the last 30 years was sick for the week, and so it's a little quality control issue. Well, let's That's take, not a problem. Let's take a walk in and see what it looks like up on the wall. Come on in. Oh my goodness, that's, that's super polka dotty. <laughs> Dots everywhere. Now on this tile here, we can see what really was intended. This is, this is blended very well, and this is normally how the tiles come. Unfortunately, there were the quality control issues, and we got some serious spots. Yeah, you can see down here where it just it looks really, really dotty. Oh yeah, it's, it's night and day, and I thought when I made the model that uh, the model was just showing that because of the way the printer was working, and normally that's the case. But unfortunately, when we got some of the tiles, they turned out like these instead of like these. So we've got about half of them that are uh, really dotty. So let's talk about what you can do from your background in scenic design to sort of clear up our spots. Okay, so the stippling process is where we take a dry brush and we just chick it, chick it, chick it, chick it like this. When we do that, it just is great for a small area and we took very little paint to do that. Uh, but on a larger spot, maybe, you know, some of that are darker, we would want to do something called a scumble. And a scumble is where you use a little more paint and you use the brush back and forth and you just kind of mix it around on the wall. You still want to have it light enough so that you can see the darkness behind, but with a, a scumbling process, you're really mixing more of a little light and a little dark in addition to what's already there. These types of things happen and uh, it's, it's not really a big deal for us. Um, luckily we have flooring coming in on Friday, so we have plenty of time, in theory, to make this work. Well, thank you so much for oh. uh, walking us through the kind of challenges people face when they do a remodel, even if it's uh, this old chapel. That's right. My thank pleasure. You. Thank you. Bye-bye.